Okay, well, uh, welcome to um, the... Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you can see the smoke coming off this. Uh, yep, see that there? Well, this is what happens with um, <laughs> TS930 power supplies. You get the PA stage going, and uh, unfortunately, um, this is the last thing I wanted to report. Uh, just let me one. I'll show you one more shot. Yeah, yep, and they go up in smoke. And this is where you chase your tails of 930s a bit. And um, uh, so we are unfortunately back to um, square one. <laughs> uh, well, not square one, but we've just got another fault that um, means there's a part three, four, five, um, and uh, and this is it. You can spend so much time on a TS 930, and uh, uh, and and just so you know, uh, it went up without any um, any load on the uh, transmitter. So we weren't transmitting it at the time, and uh, I just happened to look over and go, I wish I had caught the flash because uh, there was actually flames coming out of here, real flames, um, actual flames. Uh, <laughs> oh goodness. Anyway. Um, so I don't want to go turning it on too much at the moment, but um, yes, this is this is the mongrel of you know what happens with 930s, and um, yes, yeah, so I I just I wish I could tell you that I'm surprised, but unfortunately, the power supplies on 930s are just so synonymous with um, flames and fires and lots of things. They're literally with flames coming out of this. Now, what we'll do next? <laughs> I didn't want there to be a next on this one. This is the working one. Um, is we will pull out this supply board and start having a look at what went up in smoke. And um, because we've caught it while well, we weren't transmitting, and um, uh, hopefully, you know, there's no over voltage. Uh, let me just do something. Let's check something. So, what we've done is we've disconnected the power supply uh, to the output stage so that if this is going to register any crazy voltage, um, it's not going through to uh, the output stage. Uh, that being said, um, you know, if it has gone to some crazy voltage, we may, you know, already the power supply could have over voltaged and given us some trouble. But I'm going to give this a very quick hit because we can't afford to do it for very long. Yep. No 28 volts here. Absolutely. And I expected that. I actually expected that was going to be the case, um, uh, that uh, it's lost its 28 volts. And uh, so the next stage of this will be working on the power supply, doing the upgrade of the power supply. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, uh, I, I'm sorry that there's a part three, but um, uh, and possibly a part four. This will be part three. But um, uh, this is just to show you that, you know, you can get this bit here right. Um, and all I would say has happened here is that, uh, but by the way, because we had set the transmit uh, to exactly 100 watts, everything was working fine. And after loading up the power supply a little bit, uh, she has absolutely uh, had a, um, uh, a nightmare uh, blow up. Um, I'd like to see where the flames were coming from. Um, just um, look, we really can't hurt anything at the moment. Let's have a quick look here. Yeah, it's a 28 volt side that's open. Yeah, okay. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Oh, hang on. Let's see if I can get a bit more light there. Just want to see. I think that's coming from that. That um, actually, that little inductor. Uh, geez, I can't see. <laughs> um, yep. Okay, there it is. There it is. Right in there. Yep. Right on the end. It's a diode. Okay, so the diode's gone in there. It's all right. Now, you might think, what sort of madness wants to, um, you know, <laughs> get involved in watching something catch fire? But that can save me a lot of time. But I can see what's gone. There's a little. Um, uh, one in four double oh four diode in there that's lighting up and uh, uh, and you'll find that's um, not very healthy at the moment. Um, let's um, I'll just see if I can pull this board out easily and just um, uh, see it. The first thing we do now, this may not surprise you, is we pull out oh, these the two forty volt lead uh, because uh, that's um, <laughs> it's the dangerous one. Anyway, all right, let's just quickly pull that board out and just see. Uh, uh, how much of the uh, the board's been incinerated? Okay, so if I said to you, um, do you think this got hot, reasonably hot, very hot, or <laughs> flames, uh, Fahrenheit four five one stuff? 
Uh, you would probably think that uh, resistor there, uh, right in there, yeah, boy. Geez, I tell you what, they um, they do a marvellous job of going up in smoke, don't they? These um, supplies, that's incredible. Uh, that's that is quite a mess. Um, Fuse did a good job. Um, <laughs> Goodness. Okay, so yeah, so we've got um, a bit of drama there that we're going to have to have a bit of a look through and, and say right ho. Um, and I know what you're going to say is, well, you're so far gone with the other unit. You know, do you just take this board out? Well, and, and swap it over. And, and look, that may be you know the way to go. You, you know, for the short term. Um, have a look at the connectors on these. How <laughs> I mean, we're talking flames. Uh, that cause this. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. yeah. Really safe. Um, <laughs> um, I shouldn't be laughing, I know, but you know. Um, oops. Let's put that light back on. Yeah, see that resistor split in half there. Um, you can see. So the resistor actually, sorry, it wasn't the diode. Because um, I said initially I thought it was a diode, but uh, no, that's that resistor there. But absolutely. Uh, I'll try and get in really close to that. Uh, now that's the thing with the flames come flying out of and uh, uh, initially this uh, little inductor was sitting in the way and I thought that might have been part of it but no then that diode that's um, well that diode actually to come to look at it that diode's disintegrated um, so maybe I don't know resistor then disintegrated the uh, diode we'll uh, find out when we pull it all out um, my goodness okay well being that it's um, uh, a Friday night and uh, I don't know, 7 o'clock or so I'm guessing a little bit um, I think um, this might be not heading back <laughs> quite where I thought it was uh, tomorrow and uh, we'll have a bit of a play with this over the next few days uh, but yes, I will probably steal the board out of the other one for the moment just to sort of get ourselves running but I need to do some reading up on, um, there's quite a few mods on how to keep the uh, power supply uh, from um, causing a house fire and uh, we'll just have a bit of a look at that as well. So there will be a part four, um, <laughs> I hate to say this but there will be a part four uh, and I never would have expected there'd be a part three. We were really looking quite good there and um, especially with turning that power down and etc but uh, no. we're. Uh, what I'm worried about is the integrity of the board down here. The board's taken a lot of heat, um, so we'll need to get that off and have a bit of a look and just see what uh, what the other side looks like. Actually, I probably can do that quite easily. Let's have a little look. Okay, so looking on the back side of the board here, uh, yeah, not as bad as I would have thought, um, and probably because we just didn't leave it burning to um, you know give you shots of flames. Uh, and, and let me sort of impress upon you, uh, when flames come out of radios, uh, as good as it looks and it's really exciting and especially if it's somebody else's but uh, definitely get to the power switch and then isolate the power and you know get the thing uh, switched off uh, but yeah that's look this is very fixable um, and uh, I'm surprised actually for the amount of uh, flame on the other side which we'll turn that over oh, come here keep in mind guys we have got 240 volts disconnected to this uh, yeah yeah, and, and look, it, it looks worse than what it probably is, uh, to be very honest. Uh, luckily, you know, it just hasn't killed the integrity of the board at all. So um, we'll do a bit of a, you get in, when, once you've got the components out, you get in there with your toothbrush and clean all that up. And um, unfortunately, I would think that little transistor there will be gone. It took a lot of heat, um, but, so we shall see. But yeah, see this resistor, there's just nothing left of that. It's just falling the bits in there, crumpling as you can see. Hey, it's gone. <laughs> hey, it was a good light show though. Uh, I was just telling Samantha about, um, she said, oh, you know, it must look good when they go up like that. And I said, well, <laughs> yeah, not when you've been working on this thing for as many hours as I have. It's the last thing you really want to see, but uh, I said it was sort of exciting for a split second, but then, yes. All right, so there you go. So in part four, <laughs> we're going to um, see if we can do a bit of an upgrade on the power supply board and then uh, uh, show you uh, a working 930 SAT once again. And you may say, until the next problem, <laughs> yes, <laughs> possibly true. All right, 73s, uh, I think it's tea time for me, and um, 
I think um, uh, we'll um, just uh, call this one uh, a sort of success. I mean, I'm not too worried about this. Um, getting all this side working and everything. Ah, uh, look, that's all right, you know. But it wasn't quite how I saw it ending today. But what do you do? Yeah, then you just go back and have a look and say, righto, let's uh, let's now upgrade the power supply. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 73s guys, and uh, thanks for hanging in there with the TS 930S saga. Uh, it ain't over till it's over, and uh, this power supply has just proved that. 73s guys, all the best.